My name is Dr. Paul Siffrey with the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. A knee arthroscopy, commonly referred to as a knee scope, is a surgical procedure utilizing a camera and small instruments to treat an injured knee. As a matter of fact, it is the most common procedure performed in orthopedics annually. Over the past two decades, several advances have occurred which have allowed us to better treat these injuries with this less invasive procedure. Your surgeon has carefully examined your knee prior to surgery. Furthermore, you most likely have had a set of x-rays and possibly an MRI that has helped your surgeon to confirm a diagnosis of an injury requiring knee surgery. Several procedures are able to be performed arthroscopically. The most common include treatment of meniscus and ligament injuries, repair of cartilage damage, cleaning of arthritis, removal of loose bodies, and release of scar tissue. Let's take a quick trip through a relatively healthy knee joint and point out some important structures. This is a knee joint filling up with arthroscopic fluid to inflate the knee joint for better visualization. Note the air bubbles at the top. The white structure at the top of the screen is the undersurface of the patella or the kneecap. As the knee is bent, you can see how the patella presses on the end of the femur or the trochlea. Arthritis in this area can be very painful. The gutters of the knee are areas that loose bodies can be found. The white smooth surface at the end of the thigh bone is healthy normal articular cartilage. This is the medial or the inside of the knee. If there is damage to this surface, a debridement or cleaning can be performed to stabilize loose flaps. Sometimes the surgeon will do a procedure to help stimulate new cartilage to form, but not all patients are candidates for that procedure. The thin curved tissue next to the articular cartilage is the medial meniscus. It is the shock absorber for the knee. Damage or tears of the meniscus can be treated by removing the torn piece or repairing the tear with stitches, depending on the location of the tear. This diagonal structure is an ACL or the anterior cruciate ligament. ACL tears can be reconstructed arthroscopically. The lateral compartment or the outside of the knee also has articular cartilage and a meniscus. Instruments can be inserted into the knee through very small incisions. Here, a probe is utilized to determine if there are loose flaps of cartilage or if there is an unstable meniscus tear. Here, a shaver is introduced to help clean out the knee of any debris. This is an example of a small meniscus tear that is unstable to probing. A special instrument can be inserted to remove the unstable tear and the shaver helps clean out the pieces and smooth off the edges of the meniscus. A knee arthroscopy is an outpatient surgical procedure. Physical therapy is an important part of the recovery. Your surgeon will work closely with your physical therapist to customize a rehabilitation program to fit your needs. Congratulations on taking this first step to recovery. I hope this video was helpful and if there's any questions that have not been covered in this video, please ask your surgeon.